Hi guys, this time I will show you a knitting pattern, a basket weave and it is quite easy and as you can see the pattern does not roll so you can use this also for flat projects. For this pattern I will start with 16 stitches and to do this I will need a slip knot and enough yarn. To make a slip knot, make a circle and put the long strand under the circle. Then pull the yarn through the circle and you have a, a loop. You can insert your needle and tighten and this is your starting knot. Then tension your strands so that you have a triangle. Put your needle under the thumb strand and push the opposite strand through this extra loop and then tighten and you have a stitch more. So again tighten your strands, go under the thumb strand and push the opposite strand through this loop. So we need 16, so I need the force, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Okay, so how does this pattern work? It's quite easy. We have here four squares. I will have eight, uh, no, not eight, yeah, eight at all. I will show you eight at all, but four for, for each row because I have 16 stitches, 16 stitches, and divided by four, it is four. And we have here small squares in our pattern and each square uh, is a stockinette stitch so you can see this square is four stitches long and four stitches broad and this is the stockinette stitch and this one is also a stockinette stitch but uh, from the other side um, this square tells you that we will knit on the right side and we will purl on the wrong side. And this square with the points tells you that we will purl on the right side and knit on the wrong side. So we will do the opposite. And maybe it's uh, a little bit confusing, but you will see it's really easy. So I have here my, no, my 14, my 16 stitches. And I need the long string and I will start with purling. Purl four stitches and to do this I insert my hook, my hook here, I insert my needle. <laughs> I insert my needle from, from above under the front side of the stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch and take the stitch to the other side. So again, insert your needle into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through and take the stitch to the other needle. So we need two more. And this is, this is the first row of our first square. So now we, we will knit the second square and to do this we have to knit. We use the knit stitch and I insert my needle from above into the back side of the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch and take it to the other needle. Insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull it up and take it to the other side. So we have two knit stitches and I need two more. 
Now we have eight for pearl for knit. Now we have to pearl for the third and the fourth. And then we have to knit four. So now we turn our work. And what we have to do at this point is to to turn our work, our project into this direction and then have a look at our long strand and this strand is on the front side of our needle. So that tells me that I have to purl. So I will purl the first four stitches. And then I will knit four, pearl four, and knit four. And if it is easy to knit your stitches, then you, you're doing it in the right way. I already explained this um, for the stock in it stitch. And we have here small stock in it patterns. So if it is easy to work with, then you're right. So why it is sometimes difficult and sometimes easy to knit? I will explain this to you. So here I have again my strand on the on the front side. So that tells me I have to purl. But if I would knit, so I take the strand onto the other side. And if I insert my hook here to knit, it's quite difficult to get space here. So this is a difficult way to knit. And I put it back. And if I purl it, it's very easy. You can also see this here. If you insert your needle to purl, you have here a long strand and it gives you a lot of space. If you try to insert your needle here, you, you, you have already troubles to insert it before knitting. And then if you want to knit, then it doesn't give you enough space. You, you have to... It's very difficult. So we will curve four. And then knit four. And then purl four again. And knit four. And the last row, the fourth row, you can see here, the long strand is on the front side, so I have to purl. Then I have to knit four and to purl four. Then knit four, so and now you have your four squares, and you can already see this pattern. I will show you where we are. So we had our first row, the second, the third, and fourth. Of course, with two more. Um, squares. And now we're here at the fifth row. 
So we are changing from this to this. So we are changing from the right side to the wrong side. And to change this, we have also to change our order how to knit. So I told you, if you take your work and you have a look at your long strand and it is on the front side, then you have to purl because it's easier. But if we want to, to have the other side, so to change from the right side to the wrong side, we have also to change how to knit. So I said purl here, but to change we have to knit here. And all the stitches in this row will be difficult to knit. And this is the right way, but it will be only the first row. So the first row will be, oh no, we will knit from the front side, but I insert the needle not from above, but from the bottom. And then I grab the yarn, pull it through the stitch, Take it to the other side. So this is also the knit stitch. It's easier for me than to to insert my needle here. It is it is too difficult. So this is easier, and I will do it like this. So I will have four knit stitches and then four purl stitches. And the third, and of course the fourth. Here we will knit four, and purl four. So for the new squares, we we needed the first row, so we need three more. And the other three we will do, as you already know, as I already told you. If it's on the back side, then you knit. If it's on the front side, then you purl. So we will do this in an easy way. So we have the difficult way only if we change to the other square. So now we will knit. And then we will purl. We will knit four. And purl four. I will show you where we are. So the fifth row was the changing and now we made the sixth row. So the next will be the seventh. And that's all. That's it. This is the pattern. So you can have a three stitch square or a five stitch or you can have not four squares, but six squares, or five squares, or three squares, whatever you like. 